We are back with more of My Southern Home, and I'm here with Kel Orge with Bank South Mortgage. And thanks for joining us again. Yeah, thanks for having me. So I'm really excited to talk to you today about finding the right loan for a family or a single individual or an investor, because a lot of times there's just so many choices that people don't even know where to start. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it does have to do with finding a good realtor, right, as you know. Having that discussion early on, but even before maybe you even get to me, is just figuring out what are your needs, what do you like, and what then come to me and say what can you afford and what are the options, because there are so many different home loans available to everybody. Um, it's not just black and white, and you don't get put into one single program. There are so many programs available, whether it's going to be renovating a home, um, fixing up something. It's just the options are almost endless. Well, right now in the Middle Tennessee market, um, with the price of homes and a lot of other variables, a lot of people like where they live, but they don't like their home. And there's options for that too. There really are, um, I, especially if you've owned the home for a while, right? You probably did what everybody did in 2020 or 2021 and you refinance and you're sitting there looking at, man, I've got this rate possibly in the twos, definitely in the threes, rates right now in the sixes, in the sevens, do I really wanna change that? The answer of course is no. Right, so we have the ability to tap into that equity. That's something that everybody's talking about and it's been a conversation for a while. You have more equity in your home than you've ever had before. So we're in a beautiful home right now. My wife would go crazy over this house. <laughs> if you're in a home and you've been there for a while and you wanna update it, you're looking for something different, call us. We've got options where you could do a renovation loan. You could take equity out of your home and it could look like this kitchen. It could look like that master bathroom. And that's really the fun part of, of home buying. It's not the mortgage. I promise you that. It's <laughs> fixing up the home and you can make your home really what you want. You just have to have somebody navigate that process for you. Well, and there are a lot of people out there that are just moving to the middle Tennessee area and they have to buy a home regardless of the rates. And there's lots of variables to that and lots of different choices for that option as well. For sure. I mean, I put me in that category, right? My family and I, we moved here in March. Um, I didn't do that because I thought I'd get a really good deal. I did that because I had to, right? Mm -hmm. The company is moving. So uh, you just have to accept that for the rate right now, it's going to be temporary. There'll be a point in time where you can refinance down the road, but more importantly, just getting the home. I think sometimes we do get hung up on that. It's not the dream home. It doesn't have the perfect backyard. It doesn't have a basement. I understand that. I've got a family. Of course I understand that. But at the same time, owning a home, and we don't have to look too far in the past to realize a home is almost a bank account that we get to live in. And the ability just to get something and in a couple years be able to upgrade and, or right size the house and get into something that maybe fits you guys better, you like better, that's really the play. Not necessarily renting and waiting for something to happen because oftentimes the things that we want to happen don't. Home prices go up. Rates don't change as much as we thought they would. And you just, you kind of wasted a couple years. Well, and you hear the term buy down, rate buy down a lot. What does that mean to the consumer? Great question. Yeah, so there's several different types. You can invest money part of your closing costs as a consumer. If you wanted to, you could take a couple, I'm gonna say a couple thousand dollars, but if you wanna take some money and you could buy down your rate permanently, you can. Is that a best use of funds? It's case by case. The other option is to use seller pay closing costs to buy down your rate for a certain period of time. The most popular form right now is called a 2-1 buy down. And essentially what that is, is I'm using the seller pay closing cost to make sure that on year one, my rate is two points lower than what I'm actually locked in at. So let's say right now I'm locked in on a conventional loan at 6.75. My rate would be based upon a rate of 4.75 for year one. Year two, it goes up 1%. So year two, the next 12 months payments is 5.75 years three through 30 is that fully matured rate at 6.75. The biggest question I get is, well, can I refi in between that time period or do I have to wait for year three? The answer is no. You could refinance whenever it makes sense. So it's a really creative way to help with affordability and get a lower payment for a period of time. Well, that's a really big deal, especially here in middle Tennessee right now with where the rates are versus the, the home pricing and just helping with affordability. It is, you know, it, it's basic economics. It's supply and demand. Nashville's in demand. People are moving here, businesses are moving here. We're not gonna have an issue of having people to fill the homes, right? So builders gotta get busy, gotta build more homes. People are gonna list their homes, get on the market. So you don't have to really wait. There are options here. 
Um, and again, it's really just finding something and getting a home. That, I'm, I don't mean to sound cold when I say that, but you really just, you need a home versus renting. Well, I mean, and one of the biggest reasons for that is that a home helps you build wealth versus making someone else wealthy. Yeah, you're gonna pay a mortgage, you might as well pay your own versus somebody else's. <laughs> and Kel, it seems like that there's lots of different avenues because you guys are really good at fitting the right financial loan to a home buyer's needs. And what does that journey look like? It's a, yeah, it's, it's a great question. Um, because what we all know right now is there's no shortage of choices, right? There are a lot of mortgage companies out there. So as a consumer, how do you choose? And what our process looks like is we are very, very heavy on front, slowing down, asking the right questions, finding out what is your goal? What do, what do you want at the end of this process? And then we just make sure we walk everybody through those proper steps to make sure that when we give you that, the golden ticket, right? The approval letter, that that's written in stone and you're gonna have a good experience and you do set the right expectations. So it's important to have those consultations with a professional. Anybody can go online and play loan officer for 10 minutes and fill out an application. I would argue, you know, I, I don't diagnose my wife when she's sick, we go to the doctor. So if you're gonna buy a home, you wanna go to a lender that can walk you through that process. Well, and you talk about walking through the process. One of the big things, or I guess advantages to Bank South Mortgage is that the fact that you're you're relatively local, so all the decisions can be made very quickly instead of going through red tape. Absolutely, everything is done in-house, right? And we are a mortgage company, which means that there are no other avenues that we make business or we get business. It's strictly in housing. So this is our expertise. It's what we're really, really good at. It's what we thrive at. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.